adventures of Biggles. It is night when Mishu returns to the government rest hut at Latonga. He is well and full of news, but he completely mystifies Jinj by his furtive manner. He has heard of a white man who was killed in the country near the Sudan border. For some reason, the Latonga natives didn't wish him to pass on this information to his white friends, and Mishu is endangering his life by visiting Jinj in the rest hut. Despite this threat, Jinja plans to fly to the border country at dawn. He has been asleep for some hours when Mishu again wakes him. Nassai is tense and excited as he whispers that danger is close. Men from Kral, they come while we sleep. Soon they come into hut to kill. How do you know? Did you hear them? Mishu not hear. Mishu no. Oh, rot. Oh, speak loud, Bana. They hear. Outside door now. Uh, well, there's no need to wave your assegai on my face. The door's ajar. I'll see whether you're imagining this or not. Wanna take gun? Oh, yes. I have my gun. You keep perfectly still while I move across. Miss sure not move. All right, Miss Yu. There are three of them out there, and they're carrying spears. They come to kill, but Miss sure kill first. Calm down. We must plan this. Three men. We fight and kill three men. Easy. If I used my gun, it'd be easy, but that'd make a noise. We don't want the entire village on the scene. Have you any weapons apart from that assegai? Club. Miss show all time carry club. That's exactly what we want. And I'll use the butt of my pistol. We'll try to clean them up without much noise. Shh, here they come. Ready? Into the machine. Give them the work. <laughs> the third bloke, he's bolting after him. Miss show get him. Miss get Asagai. One away. Well, did you notice any movement from the village? No. Village quiet. Good. How's the bloke out there? He die. All die when Miss throw Asagai. These two blokes are out to it. The fellow you crack with your club will have a spit head for months. Why, he not die? I hit them again. No, no. There's been enough bloodletting for one night. We don't want to kill them. We just want to see they don't kill us. Oh, they are not killed tonight. We wait. They wake up, we hit them on the head again. We shan't be here when they come to. It's four o'clock. Dawn will be breaking soon. Are we go now, Buena? Yes, it'll be daylight by the time we reach the border country. We'll take off as soon as I've scribbled a note for Biggles. Uh, light a match for me, will you, Monsieur? There's a box on the table beside you. Yes, Buena. A short note's all we need. Uh, right. Well, that'll do. Uh, Miss you, after we've gone, are these local natives likely to ransack the hut? Oh, no, this government house. Natives not touch government house. Uh, all the same, I'd, I'd better not leave the note lying around. Ah, this'll do. I'll leave the end sticking out of a book and put the book on the table by the bed. There, Biggles will find that. Better we go now, Buana. So another native come from village, maybe. Well, when they come, they can take these bodies away with them. Uh, lug them outside, Mishu. Then we'll take off to investigate that other mysterious body of yours. do you intend to wait for Ginger Biggles? He said he'd be back this morning, so I should think he'd take off soon after daylight. Well, then he should have trundled along by now, what? We'll give him another few minutes. He may have been delayed. He slept in, that's what. If that measly blighter tells me I've been jittering away here for belly hours simply because he slept in, I'll singe his red belly hair. Aren't you making any plan at all until Ginge turns up, Biggles? Oh, by Jove, yes. Must do something, old bean. Ginge or no jolly Ginge? Well, what can we do while the Black Elephant and his gang are hiding in those infernal bamboos? The trouble is we don't know how far the secret track goes. I'd say it goes right to the northern limit of the bamboos. 
And that's another hundred miles. Couldn't we set fire to the beastly stuff and burn the blighters out? It wouldn't burn. It's too green and lush. And there's swamp at the bottom. Uh, there's one thing we could do, Biggles. Hmm? Follow them along the tunnel on foot. We'd catch up with them that way. We'd catch up with them, and that would be the end of us. Uh, the, the gang's too big for direct methods of that sort, Alger. It was a cunning move of Setazulu's to build that tunnel. It'd need a small army to flush him out of it. Well, baked potatoes, aren't we worth about 15 belly armies? There must be some way we can tackle the blighter. We'll think of some way eventually. And in the meantime, the black elephant will go on killing innocent people. Do you suppose I don't realize that, Pat? But he's a cunning devil. And he's backed by a powerful force. Surely we can match his cunning? Perhaps we can. But we've only the mobility of our planes to pit against the strength of his gang. We must wait for the right moment to use that mobility to the greatest effect. The problem's like those bamboos. Messy and darned hard to get through. Ginge may bring back news that'll help us. He's obviously discovered something up at Latonga. Biggles, we've waited long enough, haven't we? If anything's gone wrong with the old trout, this nattering around in circles won't help him. It's not helping us either. Algy, you and Bertie take the mossy and hop up to Latonga. Some direct action might clear your heads and give you an inspiration. I'm beginning to think we'll need an inspiration to trap the black elephant. There's the Tonga, that rough strip by the native kraal. There's no kite down there. We must have missed the old sausage. And that's possible. He may be back at Kampala by now. But you're not going to turn back, are you? No fear. Not until we've had a look down below. Now, everything's probably quite okay, but we'll make sure. Algae, old trout. There are some natives watching us from the kraal. Do they look frightfully pally to you? Yeah, not particularly. But they weren't very friendly when Pat and I put in here before. They kept their distance and glowered at us as they're doing now. But, but don't worry about them. They wouldn't dare to harm a white man. Oh, we Lissy sincerely hope not, Albin. We have a profound dislike for assegais tickling our funny bones. If there's no message in the hut, we'll have a word with them afterwards. Now, this is the place I was telling you about. Pat and I had tea here with that bloke Simmons. The ranger, Walla? Hmm? Wonder what happened to him? Oh, he's probably off in the jungle somewhere. He was hunting for a man-eating leopard that's supposed to be menacing the district. Oh, I say, glowering natives, man-eating leopards. Pleasant little spot, Latonga, when you come to analyse it. That's all right. Now, here's the hut. We'll see if Ginge left a note for us. I say, there's been a spot of nonsense going on in here, what? Looks as if the last heavyweight championship was staged in the belly joint. This has been a blue of some sort. I hope Ginger's all right. Scout round for a note, Bertie. I don't like the look of this. Baked potatoes? There's blood on the floor. Must have been some stoush while it lasted. Grab that book by the bed. There's a piece of paper sticking out of it. This is it. It's a note for Biggles. What's it say? Am on to the trail of a mystery. Mishu is with me, so don't worry. Give me another 24 hours and I'll tell you all about it. Cheers, Jin. Has he put a date on it? Today. That means he wants us to keep guessing until tomorrow. Confound the old sausage. Why didn't he tell us where he was going? We may not have had the chance, particularly if this blue occurred anywhere near the time he was leaving. I say, how about questioning the natives about this little fracker? They might be able to give us a lead to old Jin. Oh, I doubt it. They're merely local villagers. I shouldn't think they'd have anything to do with it. We'll take Ginger to his word, Bertie. He knows what he's doing, so we'll let him get on with it and chase him up again tomorrow. How much further, Mishu? We're moving a fair way from the plane. Little way now, Buana. Bangoro man say we find open part of forest. There they bury a white man. Hello, there's a clearing ahead, I think. Yes, through there. We, we'll see if that's it. Ah, we'll find him, Buana. Man of earth. 
that where Bangoro bury white man? Well, this is going to be a horrible job. But I'm afraid we'll have to dig away that earth. We must find out who the white man is. Let's get it over, Michel. There's no identification. Whoever killed the poor devil must have gone through his pockets. They've stripped him of everything. Uh, Michel know him. What's that? Michel know him. See him dead. Buana Alji take him in aeroplane to Latonga. White man there. Buana Alji, Miss Pat, they talk to him. His name Simmons. Simmons? I'll ask Algy about him when we get back. The next question is, who fired that bullet to his head? What man fire bullet? White man? You mean Simmons himself? No. Buana Simmons killed by other white man. Miss you know. <laughs> Michoud stares closely at the body of the game ranger Simmons and then at the surrounding ground. Why is he so sure that a white man committed the murder? Will this crime lead the flyers to the black elephant? Listen for the thrills in the next exciting chapter of The Air Adventures of Biggles.